Okay, in this task, we want to show how to put a number and string together in one cell. Each one came from uh, other uh, cells. In this table, the B2 is for the weight, the percentage, and B7 is for the currency. Okay, according to our lecture note, let's type the total interest paid at A9. So Okay, and in C9, we want to put based on a rate of, okay. And in A12, we want to type equals A9, and it highlights the cell A9, right? And using ampersand and total, oh, okay. And percent C9 and rate then you don't get anything because you have a name a cell right because in the command we use the name of it if you want you can change that one to cell uh, address right but let's do that so according to our lecture note we want to give name total for cell B7 okay? so click B7 and right click and choose define name and we want to put total click OK and for the rate is for cell B2 so right click B2 and choose define name and the name is rate and click OK so the name of this cell is rate the name of that cell is total then in here let me read Type this one again. Total and wait. Hit enter. Okay. We haven't got the result because let me check. Uh, the name of this cell is should be total, not not to, total. Okay, sorry. So let me redefine P O T A L. Okay. Okay, can you see that? Right. So the total interest paid is that based on rate of debt. Now the situation is the actual total interest is not ending with the second decimal. Okay, it's going kind of forever like this. So we only see up to two decimals because we set the cell like that. Okay? So when you use that results in any of this style, so it just give us the exact value for total from there. So we need to change somehow, like we because we want to see only just that much, right? Then this is how it worked. Let's say uh, after you choose B9, and this is a number, but you want to change that onto a text, and this is the Comment for that is text compare this and total and that's the name of here right and comma and double quotation mark sorry, and 0, 0.00 double quotation mark and close so the meaning is this text formula is changing any value actually number from that right to a text which looks like this way so one assumption is any value in this total cell should be a number and it could be um, we don't care or we don't know what how many decimals we are going to use in there but when you convert that number to text or string then it should looks like having only to the two digits after the decimal that's the meaning of this comment. So when you hit, it's just giving us same number like that. But this is not a number. This is a text. And we can do the same thing here and choose D9. And we want to use exactly the same command, text. And at this moment, it's rate okay, from B2. So you can type B2 instead of rate. And comma 
same thing, double quotation mark, 0, 0.00. Now, you can type double quotation mark and close parenthesis. But the problem was, we don't have any dollar sign here, but we want dollar sign. And same thing is, we want to keep this percentage here. So for that way, you can just type in the percentage sign here. Okay, and hit enter. Then it's actually the string which com uh, consists of 8.00 and percentage like that. Okay. So we got that one. And for that reason, in B9, we can actually change to a dollar. Okay. So let me change B10 and it equals and the dollar then it has this dollar sign on it okay so now for this one in our lecture note just to change this one but let me choose this one and we can type everything like that. So let me just copy and paste here. But in actual command, instead of using total or B7, I want to use this one. So at this moment, let me just use cell address B10. Okay. And for rate, instead of B2 or rate, I want to choose this one. Okay, so hit enter. Then this is exactly the same as that one. And I think we already check how to make a space when you combine two or more cells all together, right? So please follow that if you want uh, nicer forms of it.